might have looked at it. And uh, this, this term which I coined was to bridge the uh, gap between the virtual and the real world to accelerate uh, uh, the change. Because yesterday Pranjoy was also talking about the limitations and we need to be aware of the challenges. Yeah, we need to be aware. But what is in our thali? And what can we use to use it to the optimum level so that it does not affect? So online activism cannot be exclusive of offline activism. And online activism actually propels and acts as a catalyst to, you know, uh, crowdsource and get more people involved. And actually it works beyond borders. So, for feminism is this for me? If I've had hammer, I'd smash patriarchy. And I think yesterday, uh, aaj din hai, toh, I just thought ke iska bolna zaruri hai, that you know, we have just mentioned patriarchy, right? What exactly patriarchy is? So this is, I'm not going to go into it, but I think we, uh, male domination hai, ye hai, wo hai, toh, theek hai. But gender and sexuality version, it's like a tree, you know, which also talks about the lack of civil rights, the heteronormativity, and the cis sexism, and I cannot explain all that, but I think patriarchy is much beyond, and we need to understand the sexual minorities, which are every day increasing. In increasing in the sense that you know LGBT, right? Yeah. I hope everybody knows LGBT. Yeah. Do you know LGBT I? What does I stand for? Huh. What does A stand for? Asexual. Huh. Okay. I, but I, I still thought because whenever we talk about gender sexuality in a women thing, I think this needs to be uh, uh, put in context. And then again, the whole issue of social construction of gender, that my body does not define my gender. And in a nutshell, sex is what is between your legs and gender is what is between your ears actually. And this is just a gender's complex mix. I mean, we use intervariably, we use karte hai, gender identity, kya hai, sexual orientation, physical gender and gender role, but there is a difference, as you can see. I'm not going to go in it. I just thought I need to mark it, and maybe you could later do it. So this, I'm going to show you a, a video. Yeah. Uh, it's about... Hanam Kaur in Canada Fully. Meet incredible 23 year old woman Hanam Kaur Who's been growing a beard since the age of 16 And she says she's never felt more feminine It's the way that God made me and I'm happy with it Hanam from Slough has polycystic ovary syndrome Which can cause excessive hair growth She was just 11 when it started appearing on her face I would hide it Um by talking to people with my hands over my face. I used to wax it and that became really painful, so I would just shave it or use different sorts of creams. Um, I used to bleach it too. Hanam endured bullying at school and stares from people on the street. The names that people would call me were things like Beardo instead of Weirdo, um, She-Man, She-Male. She's even received death threats after posting videos about female facial hair on YouTube. I have had people um, telling me that they're going to burn me and they're going to throw a brick at me. At her lowest point, she began self-harming and even considered taking her own life. I would lock myself in my room. I didn't want people to see me because I knew that would lead to more stairs. But at the age of 16, everything changed for her now when she took the decision to be baptised as a Sikh. We need to keep our body is intact the way it was given by God. It was literally at the point where I had enough of people bullying me, uh, me feeling down, uh, me having suicidal thoughts, me self-harming. I just had enough. The decision proved controversial. Even Hanam's own family were against it at first. The concerns um, that my mum and dad had were, I won't have a normal life, normal life I say, as a young girl should have. I won't get married. They were concerned about me getting a job, how, you know, there's no employers out there that will employ a bearded lady and such. But she's found support in her 18-year-old brother, Gurdi, and friend, Surinder. She's happy living her life, does what she wants to do. That's really good for her. Okay. So, so basic as as thing is that, you know, she got this facial hair and, you know, the, she was bullied, she had death threats, she committed suicide. It's how, I mean, uh, we are homophobic at one level. There is, there, there is this knowledge and there is this awareness and there is this acceptance. 
So I, I was just saying that we need to be aware about uh, uh, both these uh, issues when we are talking about uh, you know engendering technology as well. Um, So ironically, Pranjoy was also saying these are the census figures that, you know, India is a country of contradictions. You don't have women dialects, but we do have mobiles more than, and these are the census figures. So 53.1% of half Indian households do not have. And as Pranjoy was also saying that although it is 20% of people who are there, but it is increasing at a very fast pace. So I'm going to talk, I was in fact talking to everybody of not, uh, uh, you know, of this mobile, CG. Anybody from uh, Chhattisgarh here? No. CG Net Swara, you can Google it. It is giving voice to the India's villages. Chhattisgarh, which is a conflict prone zone, Chhattisgarh where, uh, uh, you know, Naxalite operations have been happened and the tribals have actually lost their voices. This is one platform where the citizen journalists are the tribals themselves, right? And it was, uh, uh, it has almost 500 audio uh, messages now and you have a young Adivasi girl maybe uh, talking a poem in Gondi and you know telling about pollution in Bastar. This was actually uh, started by uh, Shubranshu Chaudhary uh, in 2010 and it has more than 300,000 reports and 4,700 fact check. How does it work? You give a missed call and then you'll get a call back. You have three minutes to record your message. And then the moderator will have a look at it and put it on the online portal, which will be shared enough. So give a missed call, then press one to listen, press to record, and then recording is awaited. Uh, the moderator, mod, the, it goes to the server. I mean, these are the technical things. I mean, they can I mean, tell more. Run as an IVR server and a web server. Open source code built on Asterisk. And then the moderator, Shubran Shu, he reviews the post and he also checks the post. I mean, anybody can talk anything, but you need to see whether that report is correct or not, which he does. And he releases the audio to phone and audio test to web and follow ups with the stakeholders. So there are web visitors, citizen, journalists, government official, visit site to monitor. In fact, myself, I had given a call of a PXC not working in Chhattisgarh. A public health center was not working. The chief medical officer then heard that report and then thereafter it started working because there was no communication. So this is, I mean, this is how the impact can happen. Similarly, there are these impact stories on the CGNet page, you know, uh, and which has got some impact, right? And there are women. I mean, what I want to say is that the women have been empowered through this and it has gone beyond because in Chhattisgarh, I had gone, I had visited in 2007 uh, for a fact finding and where we did a press conference and there was a total blackout by the main media. And uh, police ke paas gaya. There, was, there were a lot of TV channels and everything coming but nothing came in the report. So, th and that is where I thought at that time in 2007 that I need to, you know, use the online mechanism. Chhattisgarh ke logon ko hi nahi pata hai, what Bombay will know about what is happening in Chhattisgarh, you know. So that's how the online activism can work for places which are, I mean, totally non-communicable and where there is a total censorship of the state. So what we see the advocacy strategy is that technologies facilitate the adoption of decentralized, non-hierarchical, organizing forms and make movement-led activism more likely. As I said, it will uh, uh, spur it uh, uh, more. Um, I'm going to, any questions? You are understanding everything? I'm going fast. No. Yeah, just go to previous. Uh, previous? Okay. Uh, I think you get this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, examples of. Yeah. Would intersex and. Intersex. I mean, I understand LGBT, but what is this Apu, intersex? Can you just reply to that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a participant. Whether you are a male or a female, you are born with the... You can either be born with... Yeah. Uh, you can either be born with uh, undeveloped both... Like you can have both the genitals of both the sexes <laughs> or you can have one which is more uh, visible than the other. So, that way. Yeah. And but uh, the problem with intersex people and now there is a growing inter intersex movement in the world, briefly I will tell you, is just that uh, mostly, for example, in India there were cases when, when intersex babies were born and parents obviously converted them to boys. 
so that's and now intersex people want that they should they should be brought up the way they want and then at a later stage they can decide if they want to change their sex or not so that's the Examples of cracktivism. Uh, I hope people know Dr. Binayak Sen. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Dr. Binayak Dr. Sen was uh, in prison. I mean, within online, we had a website, we had a Facebook page, and it actually went viral because then again, there were people outside India asking about Dr. Binayak Sen, and we had Nobel laureates, you know, uh, uh, giving uh, signatures and all that. Uh, and then we have give Binayak Sen bail or give us jail, you know. Hum sab Binayak hai, hum sab jail jayenge. And they were like offline protests and we had t-shirts. But isme kya hua? That from online people came to offline. Usually offline is all right. So we had, uh, you know, uh, 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 Ruchi, she was in advertising, you know. They were bankers, they were teachers who were not the so-called human rights walas or NGO walas or anybody. They were, they, they were the other people and they came offline. Uh, similarly, another case was Arun Ferreira. I don't know if you know about Arun Ferreira. Arun Ferreira, uh, again, but you know with Binayak Sen again, uh, there was a class issue. I mean, he's a doctor, he's a middle class, so when we put it, such a doctor, kaise maoist ho sakta hai, you know? It's like that, whether you, oh God, I have three minutes, no, I can't do this. Uh, Arun Ferreira uh, was again a Zeverite. He was in prison for four years, 12 fabricated cases. Again, we did an online campaign and Father Cedric, uh, we started a petition, we got 6,000 plus signatures and that, that again a class issue because St. Xavier College, principal going, but it be four years. Sony Suri you have heard about? Yes. Everybody has heard about. But what I want to tell you is, in Sony Suri's uh, campaign, uh, the stones were inserted inside her. Okay? And this hippopotamus, kabhi apman hoga agar main inko kahungi hai, uh, he was the guy who actually tortured and he was given the bravery uh, award, huh? Ankit Gar. So basically she wrote letters from the prison which were translated, which became an international campaign and all over the world, Indian consulate ke aage in America, in Africa, UK, everywhere you had this. And then Amnesty International Human Rights Watch said that she was a prisoner of conscience. There was a 1 billion rising, we have a page, you can check that and all over. I want to talk about cracktivism from Kashmir. Uh, when the stone pelting started, and you know in Kashmir people are using it anonymously as a, such a good potent weapon. Because there was a SMSB ban, so you know, online mein aap, jitna bhi unka, uh, organization hua tha, uh, it was gained. Now I, I just came across Vakar, he was a 22 year old uh, commerce student who was captured in JNK in 2011 and under this atrocious public safety act like UAPA and Chhattisgarh, he was taken in. Huh? Again, uh, the problem is the people who were supporting wanted to be anonymous. So there was a Facebook page for him. We went on Twitter. We had a free Bakar uh, push forward. There was, I made a small animation uh, animation thing. The petition was to M Amnesty International to recognize uh, uh, that. And with that pressure, because Kashmir mein offline aap kitna karoge na? Kashmir mein to if you're doing offline protests, aap ko utha ke le jayenge. So the online becomes another cool. So actually Vakar then got released uh, uh, after this uh, campaign pressure. And I can say 70% was because of uh, online. I am faking happiness, I, are you? Vedanta. I don't know if you've seen Vedanta's ad. Hi, bachu ko padha rahe hai, ladkiyo ko padha rahe hai, it's like NGO padha rahe hai, you know, I mean it's like, you are faking happiness, right? And it was like creating happiness, wo khushi wala unka uh, CSR ka campaign, to mene faking happiness chalu kar diya, so then, faking happiness. And then what had happened, they had called for short films, you know, aap aayye, Vedanta itna achha kar raha hai, uspe film banaye, and then we will give you a award for that, right? So then, and Sham Benegal, Gul Panang, and this fellow, Piyush Pandey, were on the panel list. So through my uh, blog, I had just written an open letter to Sham Benegal and Gul Panang on Twitter. Khali. Okay, do you know what it is? It's a PR. Okay, oh, it is a PR? I didn't know. So then anyway, Sham Benegal and Gul Panang nikal gaye. Another campaign of NDTV. Huh? Which sadly, even the NGOs, the women rights NGO did not know because kitna smartly ye log karte hai that NDTV, our girls, our friend and Vedanta was very small below. So again, there was a petition and I was like, 
टेलिंग वुमेन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्लीज डू नॉट गो हम पच्चीस हजार रुपए देते हैं लड़कियों की फॉर एजुकेटिंग सो इट्स लाइक इट्स लाइक ब्लड मनी बींग गिवेन अगेन द होल एथिक्स ऑफ हु आर यू इन्वॉल्विंग अब ऑफलाइन में भी हु वी इन्वॉल्व विद ईच अदर वी ऑट टू नो ना बट समा ऑनलाइन में भूल जाते हैं एंड बिकॉज ऑनलाइन इज सो फास्ट वी वॉन्ट एवरी थिंग फास्ट ना एंड विच इज वेरी इन आर फेवर लाइक चेंज डॉट ऑट का वॉट वॉट आई हैथ सेंड टू यू तहल का थिंक फेस्टिवल वी स्टार्टेड स्टिंक वेयर इज दिस स्टिंक फेस्टिवल यार करके ग्रुप है Uh, this this we had started with only 500 people. Shoma Chaudhary calls that what are you doing? I said I'm not doing. There are 500 people who are doing that, and the reason was that who are the sponsors of the Think Festival? Uh, Acer, Tata Steel, and all these, uh, and they are going to talk about tribal rights. You know, I mean, ha, uh, kya hai ye? I mean, what is this? It's like. and these were some uh, the serial killers to shake hands with seminal thinkers where india most inclusive uh, carefully excludes the truth stink uh, the fourth is peddled as the real estate jo prabhu ne bhi kal bola tha the origin se ne banaya hai okay the last line this is another campaign of uh, kabir kala manch i don't know if you know everybody knows kabir kala manch ha kabir kala manch uh, dalit act, dalit activist singers right they used to sing on poverty oppression so and uh, in maharashtra mein kya hai all dalits are naxalites and maoists that is how the police looks so they were labeled naxalites they had to go underground and sheetal sathe the only woman and the spine of that uh, whole kabir kala manch she was pregnant and she came uh, she gave herself she and her husband gave herself she was pregnant usko bail nahi mil raha tha so after i mean obviously we had the case on after 7 months of pregnancy mein usko bail mila and you know we created this kabir kalam defense committee ko anand patwardhan ka you must have seen the film and you are telling 14 saal se film bana raha hai ab to release kar de i mean like it's not like what are you doing you know i mean yeah, kabir kalam is need of 14 years you are making a you made a brilliant film but now they need you you know so it was like maharashtra government gave anand patwardhan 50000 rupees for best film jo usne कबीर कला में डिफेंस कमेटी में लगा दिया टू सेव दम एक्चुअली एंड एंड वी हैव गॉन टू द सी एम ऑल्सो टू शो द फिल्म ओके आई हैव अ मिनट फॉर द रीडिंग विच येस्टर आई गेव यू एन ऑप्शन वट आई एम सेंग इज द प्रॉब्लम विथ चेंज इज दैट इट इज इट इज फॉर प्रॉफिट यू नो चेंज इज वेरी यूजर फ्रेंडली और जो मैंने लेटर लिखा था उसके बारे में दैट आई हैव बीन यूजिंग चेंज बट व्हेन यू यू आर वायलेटिंग सर्टेन प्रिंसिपल्स एंड ह्यूमन राइट्स यू हैव टू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दे रिस्पेक्ट वैल्यूज एंड कम्युनिटी आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आवाज हियर आई एम गिविंग एन ऑप्शन ऑफ आवाज टू चेंज एंड एंड मैं उनका कोई हूं नहीं हूं आई आई डोंट हैव अ बेटर प्लेटफार्म रियली इन इंडिया एक्चुअली वी आर वर्किंग टुवर्ड्स हैविंग आवर ओन पिटिशन साइट बट इट कॉस्ट लॉट लॉट ऑफ मनी बट वी आर स्टिल वर्किंग टू बी ट्रांसपेरेंट यू नो and and it, it will be like a activist uh, petition site agar ho paaye to so basically change ka uh, main uh, yahi tha and you see these are the priority issues of awaz uh, you know which which they have put on their website change mein tumhe aisa kuch dikhega nahi i mean they are very transparent you know how good is uh, uh, and how you, you should use the poll and all yeah so that's all i'm over